When you turn on your machine, you will start on a straight stitch in Mode 1. Mode 1 refers to the basic utility stitches you can directly select from the buttons below. For example, if I wanted a zigzag stitch, I would select this button and you will see the stitch change on screen. On screen, you will also see these two numbers come up. This number is the stitch width, which can be controlled by the buttons here, and this refers to the stitch length, which is controlled by these buttons here. The default numbers have an outline around them on screen, so it's easy to return to. Here is an example of different stitch lengths and here is an example of different stitch widths. In straight stitch, the stitch width adjustment is used to adjust the needle position, which you can see on screen. On the needle plate here, you will see these markings. These are seam allowance markings for when you are sewing with the centered straight stitch. The front is marked in metric, while the back is marked in imperial or inches. We will line up the edge of our fabric to the 5 8 inch guide, which is a very popular seam allowance when making garments from patterns. Lower the presser foot and step on the foot pedal to sew. After sewing 2-3 to three stitches, press and hold the reverse button to sew backwards over your stitching, which will lock your seam in place. Step on the foot control to start sewing again. You will want to press and hold the reverse button at the start and end of every seam to prevent unraveling. To cut your thread at the end of a stitch, raise the presser foot and bring your thread over the top of the thread knife at the side of your machine. This machine has enhanced speed and needle piercing power. Moving the slider to the right will make it faster and the left slower. You can also unplug the foot pedal from the machine and use the start stop button here, which will sew at the maximum speed you have set. Press it once to start and once to stop sewing. Your extra stitches, including decorative stitches and lettering, can be accessed by entering another mode. Pull the stitch charts out from the bottom of the machine to see what mode and number each stitch falls under. This stitch is number 15 in mode two. This M button is used to switch between the modes, and you can see here what mode you are in on screen. Continue pressing until you see M2, then input the number 15 with the direct select buttons.